young man of whom I spoke to you last summer is so noble-minded and full of that real usefulness which one seldom finds nowadays among our old men of 20 and particularly he is so frank and has so much heart. Anyway, she's saying all these things about Nicholas. <laughs> Okay, who cares? He's so pure and she's saying, no, 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 wait, why I do you care? care? Why care. do you care? I care? So I want to know how to des describe a person who you like. So noble-minded means have a very good mind, right? Noble is very reasonable mind. Uh, what does it mean? Noble, just you think of good things. Yeah, fine, uh, fine. Okay. Yeah. And full of read usefulness. Yeah, he has real usefulness, whatever uh, that means. And seldom find, find nowadays, nowadays among our old men of 20. You don't find that kind of usefulness in men of 20. Oh, particular, he's so frank. He's frank, Friendly. And has, frank and has so much heart. So much heart and the noble minded is the same thing, right? Uh, no, noble means you think of good things. His heart has to be about like you care about things. Why is it the same? Oh, one is thinking. Thinking about Positive good things. Positive thinking. Doing, yeah, yeah, doing good things. Doing, doing good, good things. things. And this is the good heart. heart. Yeah. Oh, he's so pure. He's so pure and poetic. Write poems. That my relations that with my relations with him, transient as they were, as transient means not um temporary, temporary. The temporary as they were, temporary, not temporary. Temporary. Temporary means short time. Yeah, right. So, so her time with him is a short time. So transient. It can go. Uh, transient means it can go in and out any time. Oh, okay. Has been one of the sweetest comforts to my poor heart, oh. which has already suffered so much. Okay. Which she's like so <laughs> Why he so suffer? So I because she's away from her friend Mary. Oh, maybe. So what the poem? Well, poem. I told you. Oh, poem. I like to write poems. Yes. Pew, huh? Yeah, pure. Yeah, pure. Pure clear. honey. Pure honey. Pure. Pure honey. Clear. Pure honey. 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 What the pure mean? Honey is honey. What the pure What is mean? honey? Sweet. What is honey? Sweet. No. What is honey? Bee. Bee what? <laughs> bee honey. Yeah. So what if you say it's pure bee honey? What does it mean? Pure bee honey. Very yeah. sweet honey. No. It means that. Natural. I don't put anything else. It's pure. Uh, it's, natural. It's not natural. It's oh, pure. It's clear. When it's we, not clear. When you look at the river. You can see the pure water, pure river because you can see the fish in it very clear. The pure water. No, that's 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 clear. Pure means there's nothing else in it. I don't put any sugar in it. I don't put anything else in it. Ah. Uh, it's pure. Pure. Okay. <laughs> which has already suffered so much someday I will tell you all about our parting and all that was said then tell about what parting in, in. yeah yeah fine I'll get it <laughs> that is still too fresh oh my dear you're happy not to know these poignant joys and sorrows you're happy so she's saying that Mary you're happy mm. not to know mm. because you, you, don't, you know don't know about know? this poignant poignant is like like a point poignant. like a point like poignant. point point Point. Point. Point you to the situation. No, point means like, like a little burst. Boom. Poignant joys and sorrows. Uh -huh. It's not like you know, like thing just comes in. So says you, you marry. You don't have this poignant joys and sorrows. Maybe short, so you should be happy. Maybe because, short joys and sorrows. Yeah. So you should be happy because you don't have those things. Uh, you are You're fortunate. fortunate. For the latter are generally the stronger. The latter are. Uh, I Is don't know. Is the fortune? You're fortunate. You're fortunate. In the latter is who? Who? Sorrow? Fortune? I don't know what she's talking I think she's talking about the latter. It means the uh, joy, sorrows. Maybe joys and sorrows. This sorrows okay. is very strong. A generally stronger. Yeah. Joys and sorrows. You are very sorrow? Because she's... What are you talking about? Because she... she because, uh, because Nicholas went away. So she said Nicholas is like a joy and a sorrow. Very poignant joys and sorrow. And then... So she's saying, Mary, you're lucky. You don't have a boyfriend. That's yeah. essentially what you're saying. You are fortunate. You're fortunate. The Mary is fortunate. Yes. And Mary... Why? No. The latter does not, not talk about Mary. The latter is about, probably about this poignant joys and sorrows. Oh, this kind of thing are generally Are generally strong stronger. For Julie. I don't know. She's in general, uh -huh. like, this poignant joys and sorrows are stronger. Okay. I know very well that Count Nicholas is too young ever to be more to me than a friend. But oh. this sweet friendship, this poetic, pure intimacy <laughs> were what my heart needed. Okay. But enough of this. 
The chief news about which all Moscow gossips is the death of old Count Bezukhov. Period. Wait a moment. And so they add one more, uh, one more adjective to describe Nicholas, which is intimacy. Why do I care? Inti- yeah, I intimate. We're intimate already. Intimate In- friends. We're intimate friends. In- We're close friends. Pure intimacy means like this. My my closeness to you is pure. It's like pure closeness to someone. Pure closeness to someone. Yes. Okay. I'll talk about the another another gossip. Yeah, is the death of old ah. Count Bezukhov and his inher- inheritance. Inheritance. Fancy, he, inheritance? what he gave to his uh, he fancy. gave away his fortune, fortune? to someone. Okay. Fancy. So think. Fancy means like. Uh, Incredible. No. Unbelievable. Yeah, kind of. 